Hello everybody, welcome back to the Magic Misplay, starting off a new league with some more Is It Phoenix. Um, today we're playing against Yek Cat, and should be a fun one. We did win the die roll, so let's go first. Spells, threats, lands, what more can you ask for? Um, if you're watching this over on the YouTube, that means you missed me live streaming. Go ahead and check me out um, live streaming on Twitch. I do it randomly. Um, so you're really gonna have to like tap in um, over there on as MTG misplays. Um, also, you can follow me on Twitter. My Twitter link is in the bio. Just follow me. I usually tweet out when I'm going live. Um, yeah, just giving more Pioneer content. Um, your cat just mulligan to five cards, which is never a fun time. But. Yeah, no, I'm super excited. I think um, my next splurge is I'm definitely going to try and buy um, either a modern deck or buy Naya Winota, which I think I have most of the cards for Naya Winota. I just need some newer cards. Um, cool. Let's leave with an island. Be basic. Let them think we're playing blue black control, play other decks. Let's see. I wonder what they're playing. No companion. Maybe Niv. Um, let's just play that. Play Thing in the Ice and pass. See how great Thing in the Ice is. I think Thing in the Ice is always like a good turn two play, like getting it out as early as you can, because especially with all the spells in your hand. All right, draw step. Oh, this is probably definitely Niv. Or just Guy Sentency. You never know anymore. Uh, let's look for a land. No lands. But all the phoenixes, wow. Um, can't cast any of those. Um, I guess I think we want the opt. So opt, bottom, exile. Yeah, I'm stuck on lands. They mold to five. Cool. They're definitely playing. I think Niv, yeah, definitely Niv with the Dread War. Um, because I never didn't have it. Um, what do we want to do? Um, I think we still expressive iteration because we missed the land drop last turn, last game, last turn. Um, let's put the strategic. We are playing to put arc like things in our hand, but let's just dig deeper. We have nothing to discard a phoenix with um but we could for sure play an arc like next turn for msrp um and we get to opt or uh, no we'll we'll probably take the land um play this yeah i i definitely don't think um i think we're just playing these arc like phoenixes for their value and then making them kind of like answer it. I don't have a response. If they play Kirited, they play Kirited. Spray is kind of a dead card. Let's see. Um, to opt end of turn. Sure. Um, I'll take a thing in the ice. See if they have any more removal. Oh, and we have a charter course. Cool. Um, pay two life. Um, in the ice. 
and then just kind of pass. I don't want to give them time to like find a way to exile my graveyard. They're getting all the lands. They might not just be able to cast Niv this turn. Let's see. Hmm. White, black, green. So white, black, green, red. Search for an island, search for blue. So they had Omnath, they would have played it last turn. I might just magma spray end of turn my thing in the ice. Oh, okay. Unless they find something to do with it. If here comes Niv. Yep. Uh, I don't think we care. I think we care more about the revealed. Okay. Wow, that's a hit. Um. They put Nahiri, they put one Nahiri, they put an abrupt crit. Can't take the Omnath. Um, they can't take that, they can't take that. Okay, that's a lot less impressive than I thought it was going to be. Cool. Alright. Um... Let's just, yep. Put that down to three counters. And then all I need to do is just cast three spells. Um, that's a good land. Um, hmm. Let's. The strategic playing to fuel the yard. Um, we have, yeah, let's just put this crack and drink in our hand. Um, let's charter course. Um, discarding a Phoenix. Um, Play this, treasure cruise. They get to, um, they get to cast their Niv next turn again, but. They have to deal with the awakened horror. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah. They essentially can cast their Niv, or they can deal with my crackling or my awoken horror. I don't think they can deal with both. Yeah. Which isn't the worst. So Brep Decay is gone. And Nahiri has gone. Oh, I win. Um, Exile Target Enchantment. Or Tab Creature, cool. Yeah, I win. That was super great. And this is why I like Maximize Velocity with Crackling Drake. So we go blue, blue, red, red, Crackling Drake. Um, and it's also kind of like a gotcha in this moment. And then, yeah. Yep. Um, because maximum velocity is not played in most lists anymore. So just having maximized velocity in these type of matchups, like I definitely made this deck more towards Niv. I'm glad we have the thing in the ice here. We have the fourth thing in the ice still. Um, a little bit heavier on creatures, but than other Phoenix lists, but 
let's see, you bring in three mystical disputes, you bring in the either gust and the negates. Um Yeah. And then hope that they can't deal. I mean the good thing they're not playing a companion. So uh I just need to counter their big stuff, essentially. And this is how we have it. We have more than 10% of our deck um, be counter spells. Or have exactly 10% that counters all their stuff. I don't even think negate's good against Nif. I don't. Because the only thing they're cast. Well, it can be. Well, Abrupt Decay is uncounterable. Yeah, negate might not be good. Um, is fry good? I probably don't want fries. Um, I probably want sprite dragons. Uh, taking out at least two thing of the ice. Um, taking out magma sprays. Taking out anger of the gods. Taking out a lightning axe. Taking out spike field hazard. Um, um, but he got a third thing in the ice, probably. Let's see how that works. I feel like that's my sideboarding strategy. It's like we get what we want and then we try to see how things work, especially when you're up a game. You're like, let's just figure it out, let's hope that this works. Um, let's see. Wild slash opt lightning axe either gust. Hmm. We can dig a little bit. Wait, we have a either gust. Um, yeah, let's just keep. We have two lands like. We'll see what happens. I don't think I'm casting that anytime soon. We'll figure it out. Half the fun with this deck is like learning what to keep and what not to keep. All right, they keep six. Yep. Charter course is not bad. Um, let's just play the scene vent, see what happens. Yep. Um, opt end of turn. Um, that is a threat. Hope we draw more lands. Yeah, let's keep that. I need the threat. All right, cool. Um, let's just play the island and then pass. I just don't want them to resolve spells. Um, they can resolve an Omnath, and I'll just lightning axe it. And we never didn't have it. Um, let's play the steam vents tapped. No reason to do anything too fancy. All right. Um, yeah, combat. It's their turn. Cool. Um, We get a mountain. Um, to charter course or not to charter course? That's a better question. Let's charter course. See what's going on. Um, 
Sure, let's keep that. Um, yeah, let's just start putting just more spells into our yard. Kind of makes the crafting drakes a little bit better. Keep mana up for Aether Gust. They don't play anything, then yeah. I think they're waiting for me to tap out. I'll opt. Um, I don't need a second lightning axe. I do want a second a either gust. Hmm, I like that land. Um, just play an island pass. I don't know what kind of waiting game we're playing right now, but it's definitely like a fun game of chicken right now. It's like, I'm not casting my stuff until you cast your stuff. Cool. Yeah, expressive iteration. Go ahead. What did we, did we get rid of? Yeah, we got rid of the three thing in the ice, but we still have our three crackling drakes. And we have Sprite Dragons as well. Yep, play that. Yep, go ahead. Cool, let's play the blue. Um, I think I was supposed to put red on that one. Let's play the Crackling Drake. Oh, sweet. And we have a Sprite Dragon. It's kind of nice. See what they're going to do. Like, this is... This is definitely the spot where I want to be at. I want to have my two A either gusts. I want to have a lightning axe in case I want to try and cast an Omnath. Like, this is a really good spot. And I have backup threats. Like, I'm not overcommitting to the board in case they want to try and put out Chain to the Rocks, which I don't think they have in Niv to Light, but we'll find out. Like, they're they're gonna have to do something. Um Sure. I'll let that resolve. Um, end of turn. I'll bounce that to their hand. Vanishing verse? Extinction event? Cool. They have to choose even so they get rid of their Sylvan Keratid. Um, cool. I mean... Either gust that back to their hand, back to on top of their library, or wherever else they wanted to go. Yeah, cool. I'm not worried about that. I will just play Bright Dragon. Um, Sprite Dragon, we'll play that. Um, let's chart a course. Um, if we don't find a phoenix, cool. That's actually really, really nice. Um, let's discard Spire Bluff Canal. Um, keeping up the other Aether Gust. I play Lancern? No, I didn't. Um, is there an argument for treasure cruising and then trying to find land? Probably. But we're playing the slow game. They drew Clothus. We know Clothus is in their hand. Okay. Do I let this resolve? Yeah, because I can kill that with this trigger on the stack. 
Um, let's discard this charter course. That way they don't gain four life because they probably have a fable passage in their hand. Um, dread boar. Yep. Didn't play Clawfus. See? And they had the Fable Passage. Look at us reading our opponent. Um. All these cards. Yep. Play another Crackling Drake. Okay. Pass. We got to play this just so close because it's like it's so it's such a bad matchup for me. But I think the way that the, my, the way that my deck's built now is a little bit better suited to handle. Because they just use the dread bore on Sprite Dragon. I can dread bore this Crackling Drake. Cool. Um, yep. Yep. You have two cards in hand. They kind of need to resolve a Niv. And we know one of them is a Clothis. So you essentially have one card in hand. I mean, they could play the Clothis. And that will essentially get out our other Aether Gust. Mm. Oh, wait. I can just put that back into their hand. Um, yeah. Just put that back into their hand. And then end of turn, I could play the Brazen Borrower. Um, let's strategic. Oh, well, I'm glad I didn't treasure cruise beforehand trying to find the land because I never found the land, which is kind of nice. Cool. We found the land. Um, no way to discard Phoenix. I mean, if we just play the island and then play Phoenix, that works. And we have a clock. I have no problem playing this game. I have no problem playing this game all day. Cool. Expressive Iteration. We know Clothis is in their hand. They probably drew Expressive Iteration off the top, or they would have already casted it. They're probably trying to bait out this AE their Gust. I'm at the point where I can essentially not care about the Clothis anymore because there's about to not be cards in my graveyard. Because I think the, like the Clothis is like, ah, cool. Yep. They have to have mystical dispute. Because that's blue. Do they have miss? Wait. When did I draw mystical dispute? Play mystical dispute. Yeah, they have exactly Mystical Suit. Cool. Um, nope. Yeah. Let's see what cards they reveal. Oh, sh all right. Um. Vanishing verse, bring to light, dread boar. Cool. Hmm. Let's. What's our best plan of action? Well, this is just mana neutral. Um, bottom. Um. Let's treasure cruise.
Okay. Hmm. Hmm. We know have Dreadbore and Vanishing Verse. Um. Hmm. Play the red source. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, um. Let's see if the Lus hit. And they want to kill. Arc Light Phoenix, they can. Cool. I'll take the six here. I don't know if this is the right play or not, but we'll find out. So I'm so reborn. What do what are they what do they want to do? Um yeah. Let that resolve. Because hopefully I'll be able to get the Phoenix back beforehand. Sing for me six. Nice. Um As Brazen Borrower. Do we either gust Niv Mizzet back to their hand? Um, there's an argument for that. Can we kill them next turn? No. Let's see. Um, let's see. I think we play the thing in the ice. And start seeing what we can do. Um, rest of iteration. Um, let's go. Definitely treasure cruise into our hand. We can play that. So bottom exile. Play the land. Um. Go strategic planning. Um. Hmm. If I tap out, that's at what? One counter left. Um. Cast two spells.
Yeah. If I had another spell. I mean, it wouldn't matter. Um. Are you playing the land for turn? Let's put expressive iteration. Um. Let's just try. Cool. Yep. And then let's see. Um that's gone and then they get bring to light and other stuff. They're about to have like a hell of a turn. Um, they put Niv top of their library. Yep. Let's just yield to the turn. Because we don't know what's going to happen. Yep. Cool. Um, nope. 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 Yep. Nope. 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 So you get another Bring the Light, Van Universe, and a Thought Eraser. They're probably going to Vanishing Verse. Um, arc light at least we're going to take the ravine drake because that's essentially lethal Yeah, and that can destroy target creature. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yep, the crackling, crackling Drake. Yep. Okay. Yep. Let's just Sprite Dragon and make it big. Um, Rise of Iteration. Um, I should have freaking strategic planning. Um, And bottom exile, um, let's opt. Sure. Well, that works. Um, I've cast one, two, three. All right. And then I can play this. Um, sure. Um, Yeah, 
Let's do that. Um. Yeah, you have to block the sprite dragon. Pass. Jesus, what's in there? They still have a dread boar and a bring the light. Two bring the lights. Yeah. Um. And a vanishing verse. Yeah, just bring the light real quick. Or is this another niv? It's probably bring the light. We know that they have two bring the lights. I'm moving home. Um, extinction. Yeah, extinction would work really, really nice. This has been a fun game too, but I'm down to six minutes on clock. So I hope to God we don't go to game three. We'll see what happens. They're ahead on time. I wonder. Yep, bring the light. See what they're probably. Oh, Niv Mizzet. it. There's another Niv. Um. I guess I have to mystical dispute this, so that way they pay for it. Um. They have to pay for it and it limits what they can do. Yep. Um, sure. All right. They don't get that. 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 That they don't get that, they get that. All right, cool. And monocolored, cool. Um, they have to block the sprite dragon again. Um, we should play the sprite dragon. They're tapped out, so let's play the Sprite Dragon. Um, we have seven cards, so we get to Treasure Cruise. Oh, man. Yeah, um, that's at five. Um, oh, sweet. Aether Gust? GG. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, we also had the Phoenix too. Like we were able to like just to continue going, but man, that was, that was a great match, man. Oh, that's, I think that's like the first time I beat Niftelite in two games. Um, well, appreciate y'all for sticking around. Um, if you stay around this long, make sure you go ahead and leave a subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, tell me about your favorite play, tell me where I misplayed, tell me where I played well, and hopefully I get to see y'all in the next video. All right, see you next time.